հայտաղանդաշար ջութակահարուհի նուն է Մելիքյանը չնայած իր երի տասարդ տարիքին, արդեն հասցրել է հաջողությունների հասնել երաժշտական աշխարում։ Մեր հաջորդակնարկը ներկայացնում է նուն է Մելիքյանի։ Described by the legendary Maxim Vengerov as owner of the violinistic hands so close to perfection and an extremely talented and promising musician, Nuna Melekian is one of the most noted violinists of her generation. A winner of the AGBU Performing Arts Fellowship 2013-2014, Nune Melikian is a top prize recipient of various international competitions, including the Ostrach International Competition in Moscow, the Andrea Postaccini International Competition, among many others. She has performed in venues around the world, including the Bolshoi Hall in Moscow, Carnegie and Merkant City Halls in New York City. Nune began her studies in the Central Music School of Moscow and later completed her bachelor's degree in the Knesset Music School with an honors diploma. Following that, she enrolled in the Moscow Conservatory as one of the top five contenders and completed two semesters with the highest marks. In 2009, Nune moved to Canada in order to complete a master's degree, becoming the youngest student to enroll in the program. She is now finishing her studies with Mr. Albert Markov in New York. Despite learning new languages, taking an interest in different cultures and living far away from Armenia, Nune keeps in touch with her roots by actively participating in events with a connection to her historic motherland. She is a grant holder and a participant in a number of Armenian projects and awards, such as Perspectives 2009 and Urartu 2010, as well as a member of the Futuro Project, which aims to gather together and connect young professionals with bright prospects. our conversation by taking you back to the beginning of your uh, musical career. Tell me a little bit about what inspired you to uh, go into music, or particularly who inspired you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your music, musical education, your early musical education, and also I'm curious why you choose uh, violin as, an, as a, your, your primary instrument. Well, the main reason why I'm in music is because my sister was a pianist and my mom used to take me with her to her music lessons. Since uh, early childhood, I was about five, six years old. I remember the music environment, I remember the sounds in the school I used to listen, and I was very fascinated about it. Mm -hmm. Of course, from a very young age, your teachers and people around you who supported you noticed the incredible talent in you and encouraged you to continue. And then uh, what happened? You moved to New York. How did give, give me a progression of your musical career? Well, uh, I started my piano lessons in Siberia, actually. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to... Uh, Where in Siberia? Cameroon. Mm -hmm. That's a little city. Um, and then we moved to another small city closer to Moscow, mm -hmm. where I started my violin lessons. Um, and then so we moved to Moscow, uh, to the Central Music uh, School of Music, and um, I was pretty lucky to get into the um, very strong teacher's class, uh, Galina Turchininova. Right away, it was very different from everything I used to know before I was nine years old. Mm -hmm. uh, and in Moscow, I already went to Gnesin Music College. I finished it with honors diploma, and uh, I enrolled to Moscow Conservatory. And uh, just at some point, I realized that I want to change something. I want to change the teacher. I want to change the environment. I want to change the country. Mm -hmm. And I want to get new experience. And when I was 19, I moved to Montreal, and I was accepted in Montreal, University of Montreal, uh, to the Faculty of Music, and uh, it was kind of kind of a bomb for them because I was only 19 years old and I was accepted to the master's degree, and it was the first case ever. A few years later, I finished it with an amazing teacher, uh, Vladimir Lanzmann, 
and we're still friends and we always keep in touch. He's a great musician. And uh, I just wanted to move again. I just wanted to change something. And I was always um, interested in the United States. And uh, at some point, I got the invitation from another violin legend, uh, Mr. Markov, Albert Markov, my current teacher, to study with him. So I moved. And I actually packed my things in one night, and I just moved right away. Oh, it's a fascinating story, and obviously you were a prodigy from a very young age, and you have a very long span already in a different countries. And I always want to take this opportunity when I see musicians who have gone through different schools, particularly mm -hmm. through a Russian school and then Western school. How do they differ? If we, if you speak about the education, education system yes. is very different. How, For example, how so? you would never hear about presentation in Moscow Conservatory of Music. Never. You don't know what it is. But this, we're talking about formalities, maybe more freedom, because... Uh, Mos creative freedom? Uh, yes, creative freedom. But at the same time, I think the Moscow Conservatory and the Gnesian Music College and the Russian education is more disciplined. And um, it's very strict. So you know your borders, you know where to go. In Western educational school, um, once again, in general, I'm just speaking, I think you have more freedom. You are creating whatever you want, you choose. But if we speak about violin playing, I'm quite lucky to continue my Russian school because a lot of amazing Russian violinists. So all my teachers, they are um, they are in Russian school. They are the savers of Russian traditional school, which is very strong, and I'm pretty happy about this. So now talk to me a little about your current uh, state of affairs, your career now as a musician. Uh, tell me a little bit about the concerts that you have played or, or planning to play, your repertoire. Uh, give me some broad understanding of where you stand as a violinist today. Well, I think right now I'm at the point when you're deciding your future, when you're making your future. And as my teacher says, Markov, he says, the future is now. So basically I'm living in my future and everything I'm doing in my violin, it's uh, a little bricks mm -hmm. for the future um, concerts, for the future events. In my life, um, I'm playing concerts. I'm a soloist, and I'm. Um, I think eventually I will play chamber music once I get chance. Um, and uh, I'm invited to play in Canada for a month. I'm having a mini tour there um, in different cities like Toronto, Montreal, Quebec. I'm also invited to play with an orchestra with amazing uh, maestro Nurhan Arman and Symphony Toronto in December. Um, so. Um, I'm learning, I'm doing my best to uh, choose my path and um, I think I'm pretty pretty lucky to have it. I'm pretty sure in what I'm doing and uh, I'm finishing my uh, diploma with Mr. Markov this December and then we will see what happens but most likely I will, I will stay in the United States of America and continue my career here. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Uh, let's talk a little bit about composers or a type of music that you influenced or inspired by. Uh, give me a, a few names, give me a type of music that moves you, that attracts you, um, and particularly finds place in your repertoire. Speak about composers, um, of course it's Johann Sebastian Bach. I think this is kind of like a Bible, like a musical Bible. It's, you can read so many books, but the Bible still is very powerful, the most powerful book. I love, I'm fascinated with um, art of Rachmaninoff, Prokofiev, um, I'm not that much into Newman uh, school, even though it's um, very interesting. Uh, and of course, Armenian composers. Um, and uh, this last years, I'm getting more and more involved into Armenian composers' art, and I'm very interested in. And I discover amazing things. So now, in addition to all of your busy concert uh, tours and uh, your work, you are also trying to introduce your work to Armenian community here in New York. And I understand that you have an upcoming concert uh, at uh, St. Bartan's Armenian Church, am I correct? Yes. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that concert. Uh, the program is actually going to be very eclectic. Um, it's going to be very interesting because I'm going to um, introduce not only classical, um, you know, well-known works, Plus, in addition of that, I'm going to um, play some world premiere. The world premiere is writing right now by a very talented Armenian composer, Hachi Sayan. Uh, and it's, it's kind of interesting experience because we can't see each other, we can't discuss uh, something privately, so we speak by Skype, he sends me some files, I send him something too, it's very interesting. Uh, and also I'm going to uh, play a work by 
not an Armenian composer, he's a Montreal-based composer, uh, but he got involved in, Armen in Armenian culture too, and he wrote a beautiful piece for a friend of mine, She was, a, she's a flutist, so he wrote a piece for her, and then I called him and I asked him, can you arrange it for the violin too? So he's arranging it for the violin, so it's going to be two uh, never heard pieces. Uh, in Armenian style, with Armenian harmonies. A lot of young musicians aspire to come to New York and aspire to come to America from all parts of the world, including ex-Soviet bloc. What would, you, what would your word of advice be to them? Well, first thing I would advise them not to stick with a particular city, because even though I, was, uh, I always wanted to come and visit New York, I never wanted to go to New York and make my career there. Uh, I just got the chance. So first of all, if you're a young musician, uh, you have to find your teacher. Because I used to have a lot of um, difficulties with finding my teacher, so it's very important. The second thing, career-wise, I think the most important thing, once I heard it, and I really like this phrase, is to find your voice. Once you play, people have to recognize you. You, you hear violence on the radio and you cannot recognize who is playing, and when Oysterov was playing, or when Yasha Hefez was playing, you can recognize it from the first note. I think the most important thing is to be different. Not in a way to try to be different, not in a way to try to shock people, uh, what a lot of musicians nowadays do too, but to find your voice, to find your identity. I'm sure once you know who you are, once you know what you're doing, once you're sharing what you're doing, you're going to find your public. And once you get your public, you're gonna be good. All right, that sounds good. Uh, this was wonderful speaking with you, and uh, thank you very much. For thank you very much for inviting. St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral presents a solo violin recital by Nuna Melikian with the piano accompaniment Raisa Karkamanova, Wednesday, November 20th, 2013, at 7.30 p.m. Selections by Khachadurian, Spendiarian, St. Sans, Chrysler, Brahms, and Ravel. Admission $10, students and seniors $5, children under 12 free. A reception will follow. The concert will be held at the St. Vartan Cathedral, 632nd Avenue at 34th Street, New York City. For more information, please call 212-686-0710 or email www.armenianchurch-ed.net.